Welcome to the Marketing Automation Show. I'm Joey Keller, your host. Nurture campaigns can be a little bit tricky, but they're super useful because that's a great way to educate and warm up your leads. In today's part, we're going to create a nurture campaign, and I also have two unexpected guests who will help me to create a perfect nurture campaign. And they will show way how to add multiple events after the nurturing is done. Bear with me. It makes sense to watch it until the end. So let's create that perfect nurturing campaign. It's actually pretty simple. So we're going to start. I already created three emails. I'm just going to call it the movie nurturing campaign. And I'm going to show you how to do it. It's pretty simple. Uh, a nurturing campaign can start from a, from a form or it can start from a, from a segment as well. If you want to start it from a form, you have to make a campaign form. And that campaign form for, will allow you to automatically add the, the next steps in a campaign. So it will automatically start a campaign, basically. I'm not going to make a form in this uh, video. You can go to my tutorial on my website, joeycaller.com. It's free, uh, and you can learn how to create forms. I'm just going to show you how to do the nurturing campaign itself. So I'm just going to call it Movie Nurturing Test. And it will tar start, in my case, with a segment. But you can also not just start with a segment. You can also say it should start with a form as well. So let's say someone is, I don't know, um, subscribing to my email course, then any of these would start the, the campaign itself. So let's just go for now with this. So I'm going to send out, choose an email. This is going to be our first step in the nurturing sequence. I'm just going to call it M1 to keep it easy and simple. And then the, the, the email, what I already created. This has to be a campaign email. That's super important. OK. Um, the next email, you should come here, and then you can add the next email. You have to send movie nurture two. I'm gonna call this M2. And here you can set a relative period. I'm gonna choose here, let's say uh, two days. You can also choose what time of the week and so on. This here, transactional marketing, this pretty much <laughs> Uh, defines your uh, frequency settings. Here is a video if you don't know what fre frequency settings are. Uh, and uh, check that. Okay, so that's our second email. And of course, we can make your check. So after each email, you can make a decision. Did someone click that email? Yes or no? If they click, you can add points if you want to. And then you are adding the third email here, like this. I'm going to do the third one, M3. And let's add that also after three days. I can also say weekdays here. And the next email would be sent based on that. So this weekday setting can help you to align things. Like, for example, you want to make sure that the email goes out only every Monday. Then you can add these weekday settings somewhere else. So this is pretty much how you are uh, sending out a nurturing campaign. Hello. Who are you? I am you. Just one week in the future, duh. Okay, what are you doing here? I'm here to warn you that you will mess up that campaign which you're building right now. All your contacts will go through the campaign, but after one week, you'll have the brilliant idea to add more emails to the flow, and some contacts will already finish the campaign. So you can't trigger any actions to those guys, and they will, won't receive any future updates. Okay, that makes sense actually. Of course and it will drive you crazy. So this is what you should do. Add the tag at the end of the campaign. Okay, let me show you. Okay, so let's create our new segment. Actually, not segment, just campaign, uh, because the segment we can use yours. And here, I'm gonna call this movie nurture test. And I will build the same campaign what you did. So I'm just gonna use just me. These are those poor bastards who are in the campaign. And we're going to add the emails. We nurture one. I'm going to call it M1. Send it out immediately. And send out another email. I'm going to call this M2. Save the two minutes. 
and there will be a third one M3 movie nurture 3 after two minutes okay so your mistake here is what you did you you build the same campaign so here is a mistake when someone is at the end they will be not continuing this campaign so if I would add here my t-shirt nurturing for some reason uh, t-shirt nurture one call it t1 and I do it here after two minutes then what would happen is that if someone started the campaign before this was added they would not receive this because those people are those who uh, jo joined the campaign before this was added for them this doesn't exist so what can we do and in order to solve this problem what I usually do is I add here a tag and I will call this um, I will add a new tag and I will say uh, let's say finish nurture or let's call it re-enter re-enter so I will know that if someone has the re-enter tag they already finished the nurturing of this campaign and I can push them in another campaign anytime after this so I can continue with the nurturing too so simply like this publish save and then I make sure that anyone who finished this will be continuing the, the, the next campaign. So I will have another campaign here called Movie Nurturing Test 2. Still, and in this campaign, I will, oops, sorry, I have to set the segment first. So I would create the segment and I will call it just me of phase 2. Uh, I think here the qualification will be anyone who has the tag re-enter. I should have called it phase 2 probably, but re-enter also makes sense. Maybe this re-enter will give me some other crazy ideas in the future, but right now let's just use this one. So if you are uh, in, the, in this other uh, segment, so you enter in this phase 2, then you're going to enter the second campaign and I can create the second part of the campaign so I can call this movie movie nurturing test 2 and I will just publish it as well the segment will be phase 2 this re-enter doesn't go out from my head but whatever so I'm going to call it phase 2 and here I'm going to add the second part of my email campaign so this way you can easily I'm going to call this T1 and so on so the idea is that once someone is finishing one campaign and you are adding a phase two of the of the next campaign uh, of, the, of the same campaign yeah you will build it as a next campaign and this way you have two campaigns basically one's finishing the one and continuing to the second one similarly you know you you start elementary school then you go to high school and so on and the nurturing would be the uh, the the nurture your nurturing campaigns would be built the same way okay i hope this all makes sense okay this is really cool thank you very much for that you are super welcome keep up the good work thank you now we have the perfect campaign so the only thing we have to watch is basically that there is a tag at the end and if you already made your nurturing campaign there is Probably no way back from it. Wait a moment. Who are you? I am you. Two weeks from now. And since the last time I talked, I figured it out. It's been driving me crazy, man. You are drinking way too much coffee. Yeah, for sure. But I have a solution. Listen to this. Just let me show you how it's done. So, um, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna add the new contact here and I'm gonna call him um, Joy Future this will be our test contact okay cool he will automatically qualify to be part of my movie test segment because that's my qualification here so it's easy to test Joy Future standard HU will be our um, test person so let's create that famous nurturing campaign it's gonna be movie nurture nurture test just gonna right away publish it and anyone who is in the movie nurture segment will be a member of it we will send out an email every two minutes just that we speed up things a little bit 
I'm gonna call this movie nurture one immediately second email will be sent out movie nurture two two minutes and the third email will be sent out after another two minutes and three two minutes like this okay so with this campaign we have a nurturing campaign probably not sending out every two minutes you're just sending out like every couple of days this is a speed up version just that we can test so uh, at step one he's gonna join this campaign so if you look for uh, future Joe then we see that he will be member of the campaign and he will get the first email which we will not read but anyway he gets the first email so he's a member of this campaign let's go to the campaigns we can see that he is a member he's right now here we can see it because by actions this one is already planned send or schedule a mail we schedule the second mail third email is not scheduled yet but he's scheduled here and he got the first email so let's wait a couple minutes uh i'll make some coffee until then and we're gonna test further and okay second email is sent so let's wait two more minutes and when the third email is sent then i will show you my solution for continuing the nurturing campaign even for those who already uh finished the campaign okay so i have the three emails sent out this person now is in the bottom of the the campaign like no new uh, actions can be triggered for him so let's go here uh, and then I can see I would add here another email so I'm gonna call this D1 because that's my t-shirt campaign and the t-shirt nurture starts here two minutes after this this one will be not triggered for future Joe it's gonna be triggered for everyone else who joins now but not for him so how can I make sure that he's still getting these emails now you know the previously heard solutions are also fine but it's not gonna save you if you already did this so obviously you cannot come back from the future and talk to yourself so I show you now what to do if you already made this not mistake but this way of setting up your campaigns so here is the thing uh, we are gonna create a new segment here and in this segment we're gonna um, we, we are going to look for everyone who got I'm gonna call this re-enter one and we will look for everyone who got that email so that's like email sent including and our nurture three marketing nurture three which is somewhere movie nurture three sorry so this one I'm just gonna also filter it out for our good friend uh, future Joey oh, that was Joey future just not to have like a bunch of random test contact in this campaign and confuse us so this is gonna be a re-enter campaign okay so let's see who gets in here who will be a member of this campaign I mean this segment it's one person or future person here why because he got that email so we actually detected this point we could grab here this point so he got this we want to push him back here and continue with this line so how can we do that well we will use a trick so we will say okay is this person re-entering so is this person member of the re-enter segment if so well if not if not then you know good job keep you know sending this immediately like start the nurturing if he's not re-entering if he's re-entering then please continue from here and this is very powerful what to do with the rest well the rest can just you know jump there right away so you're gonna jump to the t1 event okay so any new person who is coming here subscribing for the movie test nurturing they come here of course they're not re-entering so they will go here get the email get the second one get the third one and afterwards they just jump over here get number four and so on so this is gonna work out 
just fine. I suggest you add here multiple um, emails so you can add here. I'm going to add here also the T2. My t-shirt nurture campaign too that you understand that you can actually continue from here and it will be all scheduled for our people. T-shirt nurture too. T2 like this. Okay, cool. Now we only have one problem here. Um, and the problem is that our future Joe is still in this campaign, so nothing will be triggered. He will not come back to the very uh, beginning. So we have to allow him to re-enter this campaign. We have to make sure that he's kicked out from the campaign and pushed back. And we're gonna do that with another campaign. I know it starts to be complicated, but this is the only way. And once you do it, it's gonna be beautiful. So I will call this re-enter, nurture. And the segment will be our re-enter segment. We will do an action, change campaign. We will remove the person from the nurture campaign. And we will add the person to the nurture campaign. Like this. OK. Cool. Let's save it. And check one more time. That's the re-enter and our movie thing. It will be beautiful. So if someone is re-entering, they will get these emails. So our future Joe, in the best case scenario, he will get uh, the, the T1 campaign. So let's run the crons in the background and let's see what happens here. I'm super excited. Ah, he's getting, you see, only the T1 is scheduled. So he entered the re-enter though, then he was added again to the movie test and then the T1 lag of the campaign started to run for him. So this is of course in the future, I didn't uh, uh, schedule it right away, but you see he successfully went to the other branch. So that's the solution. You are the most welcome. See you in two weeks. But thank you so much for both of the guests and I hope we all learned something, for example, not to drink too much coffee um, and also that we can now create a perfect nurturing campaign for our marketing automation. Um, I would say let's see you in two weeks with more interesting uh, tutorials and until then keep automating.